Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Salt 2. Let's pick up where we left off. I think we wanted to check out the rest of the people in the town. See if there's any missions for us to pick up. And then we can build our new boat and kit it out with the different crafting stations. But let's uh let's just make the rounds through here, see if there's anything for us to do. Hello, traveler. Here to buy potions, or perhaps you're interested in herbs and spices. Who are you? I'm an herbalist, you see. I specialize in mixing plants and other ingredients into potions. Potions that can make you strong or even heal your wounds. Sounds interesting. Let me browse your stock. Ah, uh, oh, these cave mushrooms. Whoops, I didn't mean to buy them, but I just clicked and <laughs> spent four coins. Uh, let's see. Nah, we don't need any of this stuff. Uh, can we sell anything to you? Axe had one coin. Let's just start getting rid of some of this junk. I got four of these. Let's get rid of all the extra stuff we can. Antlers from an island deer. Hmm. Five each. We got three of them. I'm going to sell them. We'll get more of these. Just clear out some of the inventory. We're going to eat some bananas here in a little bit. Brigand's Cutlass. Damage one to four. I think ours is better. The one that we've got equipped. Uh, can I see that here? Brigand's Cutlass. Where's the one we've got equipped? This one, Cutlass, is 1 to 6 damage. This guy is just 1 to 4 damage. Kind of ignoring all the other stats just for simplicity's sake. Let's sell it. Uh, what's our one? What's ours worth? Ours is only worth 1. So what's the steep deal? we got to double check this now. Okay, this one's primary 1 to 6. Secondary attack, which I haven't even used yet. Let's see you hold down the mouse button and get a better attack. 3 to 12. What's the secondary on the one on this guy? 5 to 10. Yeah, the, the one we get is better, right? Block percentage, 40%. And we're getting plus 1 strength, plus 1 dexterity, and it's got a talent we can pick. Let's see what's down here. Uh, where's the one we have equipped? Is it this guy? No, it's this guy. Okay, the other one's got a better block percentage. And it has the talents. I see, that's why it's worth more, right? This one's plus two strength. Two to five damage. Marauder's Cutlass. This one's worth 35. I got weapons selected. What are these compasses doing in here? Uh, Brigand's Cutlass. Strength and a dexterity. Carry window two. I'm not sure what that means. If that gives us a little more time to block or something. This one's worth 35. Let's sell that one. And let's sell the one that we've been using. We'll sell these pirate ones as well. Boom. 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 I'm just kind of looking at the stats. That's why it's kind of pausing. Marauders, Cutlass. Okay, we got all these hatchets. Let's get rid of all these. Watcher's Axe. 1 to 6 damage. These are 2 to 5. This has talents. These have dexterity. Let's get rid of all these swabby hatchets. Marauders, Cutlass. This is the one we want to keep, right? 2 strength. And this one's only worth 1 coin. Let's get rid of it. Copper pickaxe. We've got an extra. They apparently don't go bad. I'm going to sell. Let's go to everything. See what else we can get rid of in inventory. Clean out. Butter, an ingredient. We'll hold on to that. we got three of those. Candles, anything can be placed on your ship. Uh, we'll hold on to those. Maybe they give us some light. Cheese, we're going to eat. Clams, a small clam shell. I don't know that we can... I'm going to sell these. Compass got a bunch of these. Let's just sell them. Get a few, a little bit of extra coin. Not much. Cooking oil. We're doing good in cooking oil. 11. Uppering it's not so great, but we'll build a smelter, hopefully. Fishing hooks. We haven't fished yet. We do have a pole, a lure, and hook. And bait, actually. Human bone, anything I can do with this? Nothing except cash it out. Uh, sell all is F. Linen can be crafted. We'll use that. Parchment. 
got 13 of these. I'm going to hold on to this. I got to think maybe we could use this for something, although it doesn't say it's used in crafting. Let's get rid of a few of them. Pilgrim's Axe. We'll learn the recipe here in a bit. Pirate Ale. Numb the pain, but makes you less agile. When consumed, we get five health and minus three agility. I'll just take the coins. Raft. We can't sell that. Rawhide rope, amulet. We'll learn the recipe. Rune book. Worthless. Not worthless. We'll get four coins for it. We'll take it. Sandpaper. This is used for crafting. Starfish. What more is there to say? Sell it. Stone. Just bits of stone. Oh, I gotta think that's a crafting material. I'm gonna hold on. I'll sell some of it. Just in case it's not. Striker's ring. One talent remaining. One strength, one agility. We gotta remember to put that on. Stringy deer meat. Get rid of it. High corner hat. Uh, one armor, one strength. That's probably good as anything. Let's get rid of these. Watcher's axe. Do we... I think we already decided to keep that. Wood logs. Gotta think that's a crafting material. We've got 162 of them. Man. Wooden bowls. I've got to... I don't think we need those for anything. I'll hold down the F key. Same thing with the ladle. Mushrooms. Gotta be crafting. Deer guts. Yeah, bait. Forge. Yeah, we're gonna smelt. Maybe the forge needs this fuel. All the wood that we've got. Map to runes. We've got some maps. Ocean sandstone. I'm gonna hold on to that. In case it's a crafting material. But we got lots of stuff in inventory. Worm bait, two of those. Loot cave key. Hmm. This key opens a locked gate in a special cave known as the loot cave. Okay, we'll hold on to it. I wonder if I missed that cave. Gold or thick rope right truffle. All right. Done here. There's nothing we can... Oh, let's see. Fantastic fungi and where to find them. All right. If you're looking for the number one source of for all things mushrooms and all things fantastic, you've come to the right place. This compendium contains a anything a young or old herbalist would need to know about the beloved fungi. Firstly, let's discuss the tried but true cave mushroom. Cave mushroom is a beautiful specimen of fungi composed mostly of a white porous material. The alchemists refer to it as fungus substus or subtus, translated literally the mushroom underneath. So where is this so-called cave mushroom found? Well, I hate to spell it out for you, but caves. Visit any and all subterranean networks and hollows, and you'll likely find one of these sprouting about. Next, let's talk about my favorite fungi, the white ball mushroom, also known as Renovacho morturum. morturum. Mushroom is often seen sprouting near the dead, graveyards, catacombs, and even ancient ruins. It's often mistaken for the cave mushroom when viewed in sunlight. The white color of the porous substance is evident. Sticking with the same fungi family of fun is the brown cat mushroom. This mushroom also likes the darkness, but in addition to its brother and sister, it loves water. If you're in a cave near water, you can bet your cutlass, the brown cat mushroom, is nibbling your ankles. Switching to a new mushroom, let's discuss the toadstool mushroom. Thicker and more robust stem than the white ball of the brown cap, the toadstool mushroom has often been seen growing in animal dens. Scholars aren't sure whether there is some pheromone from the animals or if it's something else, but the mushrooms are often seen in animal dens. Finally, we arrive at the rare coveted white truffle. Hey, we got one of these. The alchemists call this little beauty Sibis diorum. The white truffle, though found in caves, like the other members of the mushroom family, is mostly found high up. It doesn't dwell near the cave floor, but instead has been found sprouting from the highest cracks and crevices. Such a mushroom is therefore dangerous to get. Many truffle hunters have taken a fatal tumble in search of the rare fungus. Well, there you have it. All the fabulous, fantastic fungi in the high seas. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this fun guide and have the best of luck finding the most fantastic mushrooms. I wonder what that sells for. I'm not going to sell it, but let's just see. Like That's good. Didn't we have one of those? Thought we did. All fell. Just curious what its value is. They seem to uh, say it's really rare. I'm looking. Where could it be? Is it food? Let's filter to food. Um, K 
Okay, no such luck. Let's just scan through the whole list here real quick. I think I know what it looks like. Kind of fat, right? I'm gonna go through this one time. If I miss it, I miss it, and we'll check it out later. I have an idea what I'm looking for. Here's the white ball. We've got some of the brown ones up above. There it is, white truffle, 50. Ah. Okay, rare and sought after, sought after truffle. This mushroom often grows high in case. We'll hold on to it. All right, let's go see some other people. Uh, I'm going to go clockwise around this center spire thing. Guessing there's nothing for us to harvest. Talk to this feller. I hear the undead are roaming among us. Okay, nothing. He talks about the undead coming. Oh, job board. Let's first uh, take care of all the people. Then we'll come back and do the job board thing. Anything else I can craft? Health potions. Let's do it. That's it. Uh, who are you? Yes. Bonjour, you may call me Le Chef. I'm here to serve the needs of your taste buds. Indeed, although if I'm being honest, I prefer to call myself a miracle worker. What with the lack of ingredients in these parts. It almost takes an act of God to whip, whip up a delicious meal, but I am quite capable. No need to worry your little bones. All right, let's see what you have. Of course, have a look. Okay, this is just a place to buy food, right? Uh, we're okay. We got the cookie recipe already. Raw deer meat. Oh, no thanks. I think we're good. We've got the spicy crab stew recipe. Okay. But we know this is here. Ooh, can I mine anything? Yeah, let's... Oh, uh, requires level 10. Wah, wah. That's no good. Okay, this guy, is this the cartographer? No, this is somebody else. Tavern. Okay, this guy's probably got a mission for us or something. Or did we already take his mission? Um Welcome to my inn. How may I assist you? Okay. Say so you wouldn't be interested in helping out an old innkeeper, would you? We have mind. I used to be a big time gambler around here. It was very good with dice. Any game involving dice I could win. Over the years, I became a collector of sorts. I collected all kinds of dice with unique designs. I've recently come across a new design. They call them the Gambler's Dice. Gambler's Dice? They have a unique cut in them, cut to them instead of the traditional sharp square edges. I'd like for you to find some for me. If you do, I'll pay you well for your time. Sure. We'll just add it to our quest, I guess. I uh, hope you aren't shy about using that blade of yours. I know of only one place to find the dice in the pocket of a pirate captain. You ever met a pirate? They aren't much for words. I think you're going to need to kill one to get the dice. You can usually find the captains roaming around campsites or sometimes deep down in the caves they use for storage. Okay, I'll get your dice. Thrilled to hear this. Return to me with the dice and collect your reward, basically. All right. Got a new quest there. Nighttime already. I'm not making very good ground here. Outfitter. Let me see what you have. We need some stuff. Um, he's just got raw materials, right? Fabric dye, scholar's cap. Hmm. Not interested. We'll come back. Lou weaving station. We're going to put one of those on our ship, so I'm not going to worry about this one. All right, we got to go up this way. Hmm. So the deed is done. A power captain is slain then. Good work. You've proven yourself and done as I have asked. Now, are you ready to join the Marauders Guild? Sure. Good. Welcome to the guild. I will induct you with the rank of novice. Now it's time to find our headquarters. We keep our headquarters entrance locked to non-members. You'll need a Marauders badge to get in. I'll give you one since you are now a member of the guild. Also, the guild entrance is somewhat hidden. Use this map. Look for a shipwreck on the desert island with crossed axes on the sails. Inside the ship, you'll find a door. Use the badge and you'll be granted access. Good luck, novice. Okay, we got another mission there. That one sounds kind of interesting and it probably spawns some more missions for us. Okay, that's the old broken ship. 
Uh, let's see. Are we making the rounds here? I think we... We've done all these guys on this side. Let's check the other branch. Is it these guys? Hunter merchant? Hey, who are you? I'm a hunter. Mainly hunt deer, though I've killed a grizzly or two in my time. Okay, what do you sell? Hunting equipment, mostly bows, armor, you name it. Let's see his stock. Here, have a look. Arrows for 10 each. Uh, how are we doing on arrows? I don't have that much coin, actually. Even though we sold a bunch of stuff, I only got 38. Health potions, don't need it. Do need any of this. Thanks anyway, buddy. Next, you need a lantern. It's dark over here. What do you got for sale or plant fibers and a mailbox? Uh, we don't have enough to get the mailbox anyway. Get rid of that. Kind of anxious to hit the seas here and hop on out of this place. Uh, this is the cartographer place, right? Yeah, we talked to him plenty of times. Workbench. We're going to build one ourselves. Whoops. Can we get up these stairs? There we go. Make sure I can't loot up here. Fishing bait. All right, let's talk to the guy. Fisherman. I do love fishing. Well, hello there, traveler. Haven't seen you before, or have I? Who knows? After three bottles of Rogue's Rum, I can't remember where my nose is. Am I right? Ah. I'd like to browse your ship. Please do. So I guess he's just selling fishing stuff. Uh, don't need any of it. Not right now. We can, I guess, I ask the other part of the dialogue. Uh, what gave it away? Yeah, I'm a fisherman, all right. I cast the line and wait for the little nibblers to come. Then I yank them in. Are you a fan of fishing? Sure am. I knew it by the look of you. You've got that haggardly fisherman's face. Okay, goodbye. Just some dialogue there yeah nothing to loot here let's uh let's find the shore and think about heading out on an adventure all right the marauders guild headquarters that's the objective that looks like it's active in the top right that one actually sounds kind of good let's place our new ship uh where are you new ship Wave skipper. Place it. Boom. And then we'll see if we can kit this thing out. Is that... Are there resources over here? So easily distracted. No, those are just rocks in the water. Nothing to harvest or anything. I don't think there's any risk when we're swimming like this. All right, here we are on top. What about those candles? You think we'll get any light if we use those? We held on to them. Let's see if they're any good. I'm um, looking. Here's one. Place. Sure, right? Why not? It's a little cozy. What happened to it? Hold on, bear with me here. Okay, I'm holding F. I'm letting up. And it's not staying. Okay, this could be like a little beta bug or something. Try one more time. F should be placed at this point, unless that's an unsuitable spot. Let's try another spot. There we go. Just didn't like it there. Oh, I don't like it. Can I move it? <laughs> Let's try. Let's try over here. Better. All right. And maybe one here too. Why not? Uh, temp Doesn't like it. Does not like. There we go. Nope. 
Yeah, it looks like there's just certain spots. Too bad. That would be nice and symmetrical, but it doesn't want to accept it there. You can see I'm trying. You see the little... Uh, bummer. Well, that's going to drive me crazy. There it goes. Well, I tried. One more time. Sorry. <laughs> I got to try. Let's see. If it floats above a little bit. It seemed like it faced it. No. I can see what I want to do, right? I want them symmetrical if I can get them. I'm going to take it. Oh. There we go. No. Shoot. I thought the other one that we placed successfully was kind of floating when we dropped it. Does not want a place. There we go. At first you don't succeed. Try 27 more times. All right. Uh, where should the bed be? In there? I think so. Do it. Uh, we have a recipe for this. Maybe we need to place the crafting tables before we can even um, do it. Okay, treasure chest. How do I have this in my inventory? Hold to interact. Hold the interact key to consume. Sure. Okay, did we get everything? Received the Sailor's Helm, received Strong Health Potion, received the Anvil Recipe, and we received four arrows. Okay, that was interesting. Pilgrim's Axe Recipe, let's do it. Uh, let's see, Rover's Amulet Recipe, grab that. Candy Bed Recipe, crafting recipe for a ship decoration can be crafted, okay. And the Anvil Recipe, I thought we already had that. I wonder if we could sell those. I doubt it. Okay. We need to put our crafting tables. I guess we'll put those out here. I don't know if we're going to be having pirates jumping on board. Let's see. This is crafting. Do we have the tables? Doesn't look like it. Where might the workstations be. We gotta eat, too. Just check that. Lost cave key, Marauder's badge, and a Warlord's token. There's our maps. There's our stuff. Okay. Got a bunch of stuff here. Alright, the cartographer station cooking station, basic workbench, rotates, um, hmm, kind of think we might be able to get three things up here, how far can I go? Let's see, shift rotate? No, it doesn't rotate in the opposite direction. That'd be nice. Okay, F to place. Boom, that's that one. And cooking station. Woodworking. Cartographer station. Weaving woodworking. I thought there was another one. Maybe not. Cooking station. Let's place that. That's kind of a smaller one. Maybe that can go in the middle here. For now. I'm guessing we can move these things too. Cartographer. Okay. Seems reasonable. That one's kind of dark compared to the others. What else? 
weaving station and our forge. Oh, the forge is big. The forge is big. How about back here? Weaving station. Can we wiggle this in somewhere? Or is that going to be a little too crowded? Uh, let's leave it open so we can get to the uh, edge of the ship if we need to fight somebody or something. Not sure if this has a front or a back. I'll block my view. No. Bear with me. Sorry, this is taking forever. There we go. Get enough. And a woodworking station. About back here. <laughs> it's a little... <laughs> That's going to be a problem, right? We can move these a little further over. Let's do it. Uh, can I take this? Can I pick that up? R. What is R? R. R. No idea what the R is. Can we not move this? Retrieve F. Uh, okay. R. Right click. Left click. Oh, how did I... It had retrieve there for a second. R, R. Oh, there we go. F. Oh. All right, this is taking me a while. Rotate this so the map is kind of falling off the front. Push it back. Now we can get through. Table's kind of big to be right there, but we'll try and get by. Now let's move this one to R, R, F. Rotate it, and we'll just put it a little bit closer to the campfire here, the cooking stove. All right, we can get through now. Anything else? We want to craft a bed, and I think we do that. Let's see what we can do here. Sandy bed right there. What do we need? Stuff we don't have, unfortunately. We need more copper ingots. Maybe we can smelt some, right? We got tons of copper. At least we seems like we should. We've been mining a lot. Okay. Okay, copper. Copper ingots. Craft. Is it instantaneous? Looks like it is. Uh, I can't imagine there's a reason to keep copper ore around, so I'm going to smelt just about all this. Maybe I'll leave 12 or something close to that. That'll do. And now we want to try to make a bed over at the cartographer station for some reason. Sandy bed. We need sand stain. A thick coating with a sandy color can often be crafted at woodworking stations. Ooh, and we need wood planks. Woodworking station. Okay. Workbench. Woodworking station is right behind me here. We need... Not resin. Sand stain, right? This one. Takes morning dew. I've only got one left. Fine. Oh, there. Stand, sandstone. Could we held on to that? And we need planks, right? Ooh. There's a few different kinds of planks. Lumber, reinforced planks, wood planks. I think it was just that. Let's double check. And we're trying to make the bed. We need five wood planks. We're at the bottom here, I think. Wood planks. We got tons of wood. All right, what do we get? Uh, do we get 
We get one per. Can't tell me that gave us. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. We could probably make a bunch more. Let's do it. Just have some on hand. And then let's put the bed down here if we can. Oh, we gotta make it first. Sorry, cartographer station. Sandy bed. Down here. Watch us, uh, after the next mission, watch us get a better ship. They do this all over again. Rotate. Oh, uh, maybe just straight in the middle like that. All right. We're good to go. Let's look at our map, see where we need to go. In fact, we'll do it next episode. Is this where we want to be? Two east, three south. Find the Marauder's headquarters using the map in your inventory. Let's make sure we're actually got the right waypoint selected. Map to the Pirate Island. Map to the Ancient Runes. Map to the Seaport. Battlemaster Island. Have no idea. Marauder's Guild. Oh, man. 13 east and 4 north. Seaport, 8 east, 4 south. Pirate Island. Did we already take these guys out? This one's a lot closer. We've been there. We've been to both of these, I think. Let's uh, let's set this, set our waypoint there. We're going to have to do some sailing. Let's do that next episode, and then on our way out there, we'll worry about getting food, and then maybe we'll see if we can use the um, this station here and craft some better armor or something while we're out sailing but we'll pick that up next episode like i said we've got a way we got a, quite a journey here going what is that northeast quite a bit to get to the marauders island and check out our guild mates maybe they've got some quests for us too for now though let's wrap it up this is glider cat saying thanks so much for watching hope you enjoy this series on salt 2 cool game thanks to patrons and channel members that make this content possible really appreciate your support and thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up so far. I really appreciate that. I'll see you all in the next episode.